Okay, so thanks to PyLab, we now have something that looks like Windows 95 on the Raspberry Pi. Uh, there's a project called Raspbian 95, uh, and what PyLab has done uh, is installed loads of different emulators, and obviously one that really works well on this is DOSBox because it kind of goes with the theme and everything. But I've tried Redream and that works very well as well. Uh, so you've got MedNav, so that's multiple emulators within that. PPSSPP is one of the best emulators on the Pi. Uh, so this is running on a Raspberry Pi 4, 4 gig. Uh, and I'll direct you to the video that PyLab put up because that's that's the, I found this on YouTube uh, and it is very, very impressive. And there's a link to download the image, this exact image. But when you get it, first of all, uh, it will be in Spanish and there's instructions on how to change that on PyLab's channel. So go to that. Uh, I'll show you one thing at the end of this where I got stumped a little bit. Uh, and I'll show you how to get past that, but watch watch PyLab's video to, to see how that is. So if I click on the bottom here, you can see that I've got things like run program, and if I click on that, you can see it comes up looking very Windows 95. Uh, if I click on the web browser, also has a bit of a skin to Windows 95. You can see all this stays the, uh, stays the same down the bottom, so let's close that down. So even things like settings, look, look at those icons, it just, it really brings you back and it feels nice and snappy. I mean, obviously it's Raspbian uh, and this is clocked, overclocked at two gigahertz. So um, if you download the image and you haven't got any calling, you need to change the config text uh, and delete the overclocking uh, that is on there. What does terminal look like? Yeah, so terminal looks good as well. So let's go back down. Accessories, what is in here? I haven't really had a good look at this. Uh, and I want to I'd take another look at this uh, and try more of the emulators to see how well they run. Uh, but uh, yeah, Chromium with the Internet Explorer icon. So games, all the emulators are in games in here and also on the desktop. So if you wanted to tidy this up, you could take all these off the desktop. And obviously LibreOffice, but you've got the word symbol there, which is nice to see. If you've got to log out, you get this little bit different, but but still sort of uh, retains the theme. Really, I, just really impressive. It really brings me back because my first computer, uh, my first Windows computer was Windows 95. It was a Pentium 75 with one gig hard disk, so barely more than a CD to have the whole operating system and everything. My cat's going mad running around me. Um, and eight megabytes of memory. So let's have a look in my USB stick. So this is my RetroPie stick that I use on a lot of my builds. So double click on that and uh, you can see RetroPie mount, uh, go into ROMs and we're looking for, I'm just looking at all this, it's just, I, I just love the way it looks. This, this really takes me back. So uh, what's it called? PC data is the folder that DOSBox goes into. So I've got this folder from previous videos. Uh, so let's just try Prince of Persia because I know that works. So if I double click on it, I can right click on the exe file uh, and then open with DOSBox. So click on that and you can see DOSBox opens up. If I press, I think it's Alt and Enter, it goes full screen. So this just feels authentic that you're using a Windows 95 style desktop uh, and the sound works fine as well. And I'm using an Xbox controller which I've plugged in. And I haven't done anything to configure or set it up and it's working with the analog stick. So let's drop down here. What was the, oh, didn't really mean to do that. Oh, well, I'm all right though. So you can see I haven't got the sword yet so I need to head off back. Watch jump. I can't find jump. Oh, I think jump is just up on the controller. So let's try it. Yeah, that works fine. So what do I have to do here? Oh, that's what I have to do. Oh! <laughs> I need to find the, one of them uh, is slow walk on Prince of Persia. So if I press a, oh, there you go. So that that's what I should have been using, that slow walk. So let's jump over here. Let's open that up. Be more cautious.
So obviously plays fine. The, the Raspberry Pi uh, for games like this has plenty of power and you can see that it's very, very nice to use. Now I don't know how to get out of this. Uh, before I tried, well if I just do escape, no, Alt F10, Alt Enter exited from that. Uh, so let's close that down. And uh, rather than go through loads of this, well I haven't clicked on any of this, look. Look at the networking. And you can see all the Wi-Fi showing up there, which is great. Volume is there, yeah, and that all looks good. I don't know what the Pi one is. Oh, there's a lock screen, look, suspend. Show desktop icon. So I had a bit of trouble uh, initially setting this up. The guide is, is perfectly fine, but the one thing I couldn't find uh, was the dash on my keyboard. So what I'll do is I'll go back because I've got some footage of when I was setting it up and the whole desktop was in Spanish. So if you download this image, everything will be in Spanish and you have to change the language. Um, and so if you, I'll show you how I did that earlier on. You open up the terminal uh, and then in here, what you need to type is sudo raspi-config. But uh, none of my keys on my keyboard seem to give me a dash. So all I did to get a dash was to keep pressing up and it goes back through all his terminal commands and then you can find a dash. So you can see there's a dash here and if you just select that, easier said than done. Well, it doesn't matter if I select it with the J and the 4 uh, and then just copy that. So we've got copy and then if we go to, uh, well, let's just delete that and just show you that you can paste that in there you go so at least now I've got a dash so if I go up to that and then I can type in the other bits around it so sudo and so on and then you can leave the dash in there wherever you want so sudo raspi dash config press return and then I won't go through this bit uh, if you follow his tutorial for it because I don't want to steal his thunder. He's spent a lot of time on this. Okay, so I hope this helps. Uh, I will come back to this because there's loads of emulators in here and I, I really want another play around with it. I might try some more DOSBox games on it just because it, it feels so good in this environment. But thanks again to PyLab. Um, I'll put a link in the description to his channel and also uh, the video that this was in. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.